To bind to an event, you use the Angular event binding syntax. In event binding, you need to define the event name in parentheses and the method name or the function that you want to call when the event is triggered. So let us go to our project and see it in action. In here, I'm going to remove this code and instead I'm going to create a button and I'm going to name this button set time to now and I'm going to add the event binding. One of the events that a button has is the click event. So whenever the user clicks this button, I want to call a function or a method. Let us say the method name is going to be set time to now. And this is how you define a method by using the parentheses. Let us copy the method name and then let us go to the app component.ts. I'm going to remove this data from here. Also this data and then define the set time to now. For now, I'll just console.log and then new date. So let us save the changes and then let us go to our project. And here we do see that we have the button set time to now. I'll press F12 and then go to console. I'll clear the console and then click set to time now. You'll see that this is the time at recording this video. So Central European time zone. 102 a.m. If I click again, you're going to see it's 102.44. So 10 seconds later. So you can see that each time I click this button, the click event is triggered. And we did bind the click event to a function named set time to now. Let us go back to the project. And then in here, I'm just going to type H2 or maybe just a p tag and then time now I'm going to display the time now so time now let us go and define this property so the time now is going to be a new date and then each time the set time now is triggered we want to set the time now value is equal to new date. For that, you need to use the this keyword. So this time now is equal to the new date and we can remove the console.log. So let us see the changes in here. Let us go back to the browser. We do see that we have the time now. If I click in here, you'll see that the time is updated each time I click the set time to now button.